Kahela. Hi, Uncle. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Good. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing much. Want to watch a movie? Oh, actually, you know Disney Plus? They've actually released a new musical. Okay. Yeah, and it's about the founding fathers of America. And it's like two hours and 45 minutes long about Alexander Hamilton. Okay. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. <laughs> so you're my niece. I am your niece. You're 14 years old. 19. And uh, welcome to the show. So we saw Hamilton on VOD, Video On Demand, and we like musicals, right? So we go to musicals and... Very often. Sometimes we go to the West End and watch them, real people uh, in, in the same physical space. Um, Fortunately, you can't do that now. That's n now no longer a thing. <laughs> Good times. You're, you're more worried about musical theatre never coming back than even getting corona and dying, right? Of course. Yeah. Ten dollar, found a father without a father, got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter. I've never actually experienced two and f hours and 40 minutes 45. of... Even worse, not worse, but... <laughs> but of just pure music, like musical music. Everything is delivered in in, in music, <laughs> musical format. I was a um, bit like, when are they going to stop to to say something? To just do some acting <laughs> and just deliver, yeah, some some exposition, some just dialogue. <laughs> I think one of the things that didn't bother me so much about that uh, was just the changing up of the musical styles. Oh my god, yeah. Rap, hip hop, R and B, R and B. I felt there was some like jazz. Probably, yeah. Can you can you define jazz? No, because <laughs> I can't. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? For them to tell a story that was like 18th century in a way that is easier to understand. I mean, it's a good mix. I mean, it's not like trap music or, you no. know, it's not like drill. No, 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 no. God, no. It hasn't gone to those levels, but it's obviously rapping over. Yeah, I enjoyed it though. I think that, like, they did good with like, the lyrics, very smart with how they put it all together. I did do a little bit of kind of background research stuff on this and one of the things I saw was that they had like some of the most downloads on Disney, like from, you know, in relation to what, what's normally the usual viewing figures for Disney. Mm. Amazon's doing, it's done really well and I think, yeah. so it must have accessed quite like maybe uh, a, big audience. a bigger audience than yeah. they normally would and one of the reasons for that is probably just because no one's going to musical theatre, but yeah. then also pe like people of your generation are more obviously... I don't think you don't watch TV. <laughs> no, I used to, not anymore though. The younger you go, the, just the less likely... To watch any kind of TV. Any TV, right? Yeah. So all the consumption of... is video on demand. Mm. And the fact that Disney Plus have... just put it out there, which is quite a big... Move. And I think that's time. even causing some waves in terms of like musical theatre and how that's being... Yeah. I mean, I still prefer musical theatre live. Like, I think it would have been amazing to see Hamilton live. But considering how things are going on right now, I mean, I guess it is a good way to have seen it. You just can't beat watching it live. Like, that's... That's insane. We gotta go, gotta get the job done, gotta start a new nation, gotta meet my son, take the bullets out your gun, what? the bullets out your gun. What? We move undercover and we move as one through the night. We have one shot to live another day. We cannot let a straight gunshot give us away. We will fight up close, seize the
the moment to stay in it. Is it better than Aladdin? Whoa, that's that's a that's that's a big question. <laughs> that's an original Disney movie. <laughs> I'm here. To, this is this is hard talk. I ask the big questions, Danny. They're very, very different genres, so I cannot answer that question. I love them. As soon as the, as Hamilton came out on Disney Plus, there was um, a hashtag on Twitter saying cancel Hamilton because they they say oh Hamilton was obviously a Slave owner and trader. This is in a The old to be slave right trading now. skeleton. Yeah, so there's a lot of. There's a lot of those, right? A lot. Apparently, like Ben Affleck's uh, dad was a slave owner. You know who Ben Affleck is? Yeah. Yeah. Really? You know, he hooked up with J-Lo. <laughs> no Did way. you know that? No. I've got the fresh gossip. I think we're good together. Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez. Every relationship has a fallen account, huh? That's right. It wasn't an all-white cast. Clearly, many, many ethnic backgrounds were in this cast. And they were saying I think I saw how, a Filipino at one point. Yeah, she was Filipino. And he's, isn't he? No, the main I, character. I, I don't know where he's Fili from. Filipino from a thousand yards. <laughs> But that was one of the back, like that was one of the arguments against saying that you need to cancel it. They were just saying, well, this is promoting, you know, different backgrounds. Like it was funny though, because you and me thought Hamilton was actually mixed race. Yeah. And like, and I, <laughs> and we, that's why I was we, confused. When we googled him, he's the whitest, L blue eyed. <laughs> Literally, I was like, so what's white. going on? But yeah, there was just a lot of criticism on. It's still going on now, like hashtag cancel Hamilton. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a really big thing. Wow. They were trying to say that like Hamilton was, how did they describe it? Like America then being played as American now. Mm. A quote like that. And it was quite interesting because it was, it's, I mean, it's true. I mean, one of the things, reasons I like fiction so much and I'm into it, fiction and, and let's say make-believe as for want of a be better phrase is that you can do those types of things you can flip the script you can change perceptions you're, mm. you're just playing playing yeah. with the thing yeah imagine that this had come out like um, before Black Lives Matter and before cancel culture was kind of so prevalent in today on the in the social media world i mean it did I, it hamilton did but, did. It did but it was it did and nothing <laughs> nothing ever none of it, this was, shit. it wasn't really an issue it came out in like 2015 it won 11 tonys it won best musical tony nothing nothing oh, that's was interesting nothing do you think was it, ever said. do you think if it would have come out and then it would have and then it got the backlash do you think it, it's getting the backlash because of the much bigger exposure. Yeah, I think so. Because I've otherwise would have heard about the backlash before. Why don't people want to cancel stuff that no one's watching? <laughs> That's the story of Hamilton, and you get to see it coming up. But it seems arbitrary what gets targeted as well. Like, you know, s s some people have done some blackface, some, and, and, and they become like, you know, they're still the president of Canada. And then some people have done, <laughs> have done it. And, you know, they're, they're cutting, taking episodes of video platforms, like of, you know, people who blackfaced yeah. in the fucking 70s or 80s. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I, I understand the anger behind it. For yeah. example, I, I don't feel like the backlash against Hamilton is directly for the Broadway musical just on that. I think it's just, the story, the actual, actual story behind the real Hamilton. So the American experiment begins when my friends all scattered to the winds. Lawrence is in South Carolina, redefining bravery. We'll, we'll never be free until we end slavery. What are you going to do? Cancel the, the founding fathers? Because uh, like a bunch of them had slaves. George Washington like had slaves, right? Yeah. 
and fathered uh, mixed race children. Mm. Uh, saying mixed race, there's no such actual thing as human separate human races. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna like we cancel them? Like, you know? I mean, if they could, they would. True. I mean, I didn't even want to get this deep into the whole, uh, <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? Cause it's like um, a POC person of color writing the thing, casting people of color, the thing becomes big hit. And then it's getting backlash from people of color. So Hamilton has an affair. So one of the things I think they did do was talk about like Alexander Hamilton's past, not necessarily a great guy, but one of the things I did read about a negative on this uh, musical was that he's not depicted in, I didn't know about the slavery thing for one. Mm. Um, and he's generally depicted as a kind of hero figure. Yeah. And then I think the, the the creator of the thing, or like the main sing, one of the main singers said, like you know, this was made by flawed human beings, talking as a flawed human being myself, who desperately knew who was in need of this. Um, I can't remember the, the tweet she did, but mm -hmm. basically saying, you know, there's lots to learn. We're all flawed, uh, even the forefathers. I can see and like understand the anger towards. Hamilton and saying how, yeah, you're basically glorifying someone who was a slave owner and obviously slavery very angers me. Very angers me, doesn't make sense. But it's like, obviously shouldn't have happened. It's just, that's what they, they see it as. They just see it as this is a musical that's getting a lot of publicity, lots of awards, a lot of money for telling a story about someone who was a slave owner. And it's fine, like, I, f I feel like it's fine to bring those things to light. I think they've got, I think those are good points. Yeah, and, and I, I think and they should have seen it coming, 100%. I Whoa. definitely think they should have seen this coming. Yeah, it's interesting what you said before, like, they it came out in 2015 and no one said anything. But then now, yeah, then maybe they should have seen it coming. It's interesting, like, I, I, but I, I, I agree with you what you said. It's like, they've, they make some good points. It's like, yeah, this, this dude, was a slave owner, yeah. you know, they took down the statue in Bristol and I'm like, uh, who gives a fuck? It's just some, you know, you want these monuments of these people kind of like in your, you know, do you want to put up monuments of people that did that type of thing? Yeah. It's, I'm not saying that just because it was that time, then it was okay, mm. because obviously it's, yeah. still not. it's not. still not. And like, do you want to put these people on a pedestal and kind of, you know, Glorify them. Yeah, I get that. Like, and that's a point. There's a good point to that. And I did think, like, when I was watching the, because I knew nothing about Alexander Hamilton. It turns out the writer wanted to do the musical because Alexander Hamilton. Like, I've heard of obviously Thomas Jefferson. I've heard of Washington. Those are kind of the main ones that I've heard of. But. I've never heard of this guy, so I didn't know anything. And you do come out, I came away from, out of the musical thinking, okay, well, he's a good guy. Well. Like, he's got some human flaws in terms of being obsessive and the adultery yeah. and, you know, having a mistress philandering with women and stuff, which they showed. But um, generally, he's the hero. Like, he's the hero. Yeah, because the way that, that I understood it only by watching the musical was that Maybe I got it wrong, maybe I didn't understand it right, but that he was an immigrant from the Caribbean, because th that's... And I literally thought, oh, the main character, in real he life, was, he's mixed race, yeah. He was mixed race, mm -hmm. and so then I thought, okay, so he was a mixed race man fighting for, like, the revolution. And obviously, that's they, what we were saying when yeah. we were watching it. And <laughs> we're then like, they, were, then they were, were saying how, obviously, that, uh, like, you know, our people should get out of this, abolish the slave trade, and I was like, okay, so he wanted to abolish... That's why I kept asking you, remember? I was like... Yeah. The, and I'm like, they yeah. want to revolutionize to abolish slave trade and I was like he went up in the ranks and I'm thinking like he's met some powerful the only powerful black guys in this time yeah uh, in one tavern and yeah. they're gonna and go around like that's like... literally the the story I created for myself in my head but then you read they were the all white story they're all white right they, it was completely I haven't even, different so I then... haven't even checked on any of the other characters like Lafayette 
Yeah. And I haven't checked on the uh, ethnicity of any of them. Yeah. But yeah, when they said that he was an immigrant and I was like, okay, so this is a story about, you know, an immigrant guy who tried to... Ciao! <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> Goodbye! When we finally drop the British away, Lafayette is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. But the lead's on the door! Tell us spying on the British government. I take the measurements of information and then I smuggle it. Just going to the music and that type of uh, thing. Like, I didn't, there wasn't any standout tunes. Oh no, I thought there were some standout tunes. The, was there a standout the tune? Uh, I felt like there was some repetition of lines. Yeah, because they went, <laughs> that's the point. That's the point. Yeah, but that didn't, doesn't make for a standout tune. No, my, the song My Shot was a standout tune. tune. I'm not gonna miss my shot. See, you know it. Right, but the, I put that down to repetition of. The, but that was a good one. I put it down to repetition. So when I say standout tune, all right. Um, Lion King, Circle of Life. Hakuna Matata. Those for me are kind of like musically. When we watched um, Great Showman, The Great Showman, yeah. and there was that tune that went out into it, kind of broke out and became a commercial. That was like okay. That's the song. That's a song. This is me. Yeah. Right. There wasn't anything I felt like was the main. Yeah. Okay. But like I thought the music was good. Yeah, no, and like for me when musicals good. fall, it, the big thing is if, if you don't have the tunes, yeah. forget it. And it's like it's not gonna you generally work with the story and story yeah. bits in between. Yeah. You know? I enjoyed the music though. I think my shot was a good song. Yeah. I thought it was very catchy. I am not going away, my shot. Hey, I'm just like my country, I'm not scrappy and hungry, and I'm not going away, my shot. Women's voices, wow. Wow. Do you think the women, yeah, I felt like the women the kind women of- very strong voices. Stronger voices. I, I kind of felt that as well. I love that. I'm no big expert, but they had really, the women's voices really yeah. stood out to me. And the production was good. Yeah. Stage production, yeah, the, really good. the choreography, the backdrop. I love all. the choreography. It was so like, there was break dancing, contemporary, a little bit of ballet. I loved it. It was so good. Yeah, there was a good. It was a good mix, mix of yeah. styles and and the way they the, the way they did it with the lighting mm. and the. Yeah, we watched it on my kind of big projected screen and it's I and. Cinema. It, it's around sound. We had, did have popcorn. We did. Uh, and it came across well. Yeah, I really enjoyed the way that they used the characters. So they weren't just all one, just one, or obviously Hamilton was yeah. just one person. Eliza was one person, but like, um, how that's how you save, that's how you save those theater oh, yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. Oh, this is, this is the theater production, theater production manager going, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you just play? <laughs> <laughs> You're an amazing actor, actress, stroke actress. I think you could play two roles. Yeah. So that's what happens when you walk against the puppy and swinging the Somebody's got a shovel in Hercules Mulligan. I need no introduction when you knock me down, I get the f back up again. I thought the characters were engaging in terms of just as a story aside from history. I did kind of feel the length a bit. Yeah. Um, but they, he packed in a lot and I like, yeah. you know, just give me chunks of information in musical mm -hmm. form, I can mm -hmm. take it. There was something about just delivering it in singing, yeah. which, can you imagine that in dialogue? Be like, oh, like, fuck. Oh my God, what's going on? Be like dozing off. They packed in a lot. Yeah, if you think about it, right? Well. Yeah. Costume. Costume was Costume so Costume was good. Especially the one with the mistress. That she was wearing all red with the red bold lipstick and the whole... And I remember saying to you, I thought she was my favourite voice. Her voice was interesting. It had like a nice smoky, yeah, smoked lungs. Like... 
Yeah. I like them smoky lungs. I don't know what song he was singing, but it was the one with the mistress. And he was like asking God to help him make it easier for him to cheat on his wife. And I was just a bit like, it's a bit contradictory, isn't it? Well, no, I think that's what God's for though, isn't it? <laughs> to make help life easier. To help you, <laughs> no, to help you achieve the impossible. If you, like if your, one of your friends had real strong opinions about it, um, and they said to you, Danny, you should don't, you dare buy a, muse, a ticket to the West End mm. to watch Hamilton, a mm. good friend of yours. Would, you, would that be a dilemma? I think so, because, um... Well, the the most they can say is you buying a ticket. If you ticket. buy that ticket to Hamilton, <laughs> our friendship is no, over. No, because there's different ways that... Because there's one thing me denying saying, oh, this isn't has nothing to do with that. I, being considerate and knowing, I know that this musical does have a lot of things behind it that, honestly, it isn't right. It isn't right. Alex, I'm, well, he shouldn't have. No one should have had slaves in the beginning, but I think that made me have a different perspective on the musical, I'm not gonna lie. I think knowing after that he was like a slave owner and yeah. he did help with the slave trade, I just thought, in my head, it, don't get me wrong, really good musical, great music, good choreography and everything, but in my head, it's just a bit like. But you still watch it in, the, in West End? I would still watch it in West End. <laughs> If I hadn't gone and watched this musical, I wouldn't have then gone and done my research on it to know what had what had happened before. Because uh, yeah. I'm all all for Black Lives Matter, and I stand with the people who think that this is quite insensitive and the right. story behind it. It is and true, and, and those are good points. And like, yeah, I I think you're right. Like, but then just... you can't just blame everything that's happened on just one thing like the obviously a lot of things going on that go into this whole black lives matter and everything but, but yeah just, just shedding a light on it is shedding a good a light on it yeah it's a good thing yeah do you know what i was going to compare it to as well remember that musical that we watched um the book of mormon mm -hmm. that must have received a lot of backlash <sighs> if it did that's it. Uh, yeah, man. Like you remember how they go. That that, they go. <clears throat> they play close to the bone. Like, I, you were laughing, <laughs> and I was just like, the way they depict black people in that, it's like, but it's so satirically, obviously satirical. That's part of the comedy. It's just so over the top satirical that that's partly the comedy. Yeah. It's like the I comedy is scared. how ridiculous we're being with the with, with the character. Yeah. Which is why that works, and I think that's fine. Like, if if they're doing, if they were to do that about me, brown Latinos, I'd be, I'd be totally fine with it. I just remember watching it and asking you, I was like, is this, is this even allowed? Like, it's dangerous, yeah. It's this, dangerous comedy. Is, how is this even? But this is what I was saying to you musical? about, like, but this is what I was saying to you about, about what's getting targeted. It's yeah. like, if they were, if the Book of Mormons were to come out come out disney, disney plus, plus yeah they'd probably be but for some reason i feel like not as big weirdly well, how weird is that i feel like it wouldn't be as big the only the thing is is that is because book of book of mormons is like you said it's so obvious in hamilton it's not clearly so there's all the questions that we ask yeah. the mistakes that we made <laughs> it it's just not as obvious which makes people think then think like they're doing it to hide the fact that he was this, this, this and that. Well, I like to imagine as well, it's just like purely fundamentally white racist guys just watching that and thinking like the founding fathers were black. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. This is Hamilton. So, so what would you say, Danny? Like if you were to recommend this to 
people would you recommend it yeah i definitely recommend it definitely enjoy the music and the choreography uh but don't go into it blindsided yeah maybe do a bit more research bit like more than research we did before you watch it so that you're not so confused like we were yeah yeah i think that's a good shout i agree do a little bit of background on it mm. um and like you said, it's good to, some of the good stuff out of this, oh, Alexander Hamilton, who's that? Oh, he did some of this stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, he had black slaves. Eee. Mm -hmm. Not so good. But pe then people are talking about it. And I, I mean, I would say that especially to friends who like musicals. Yeah. And musical theatre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think it's a, good, it's a good watch. But you've got to be ready for it. You can't just watch it when you're feeling a bit, you know lazy and just, let's put something on no you've got to be ready for a two yeah. hour or 45 minutes we had minute. popcorn ready to go liquids <clears throat> tequila <laughs> cool so nice i loved it great great corona ah <laughs> that's so rude <laughs>